What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I'm not going to waste any time when it comes to this video. We're going to get right to it. This is a really sad situation. And there's a couple weeks ago, I talked about this gentleman who was receiving money. So he was receiving his pension. So he worked for, I can't remember how many years he worked, but it was like 20 or 30 years. And then he started collecting his pension and North Carolina, the, the government, the city was sending him too much money. And then it got to the point where they caught, they, they figured out their mistake and they said, you know what? You have to pay us back. And it was in the tune of over $200,000 that he had to pay back. And at this point he was, I think 80 or 81. So he had to go back to work to actually pay off this, this debt that he had. And so he wasn't able to pay it all off before he passed away, but it was a really, really sad story. And so today I wanna to show you a story where the federal government made a mistake and guess who has to pay for it? The American people. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you guys all for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so let, let's talk a little bit about this. This is the, the PPP loan disaster, okay? So let me show you this article. And uh, AP put this out yesterday. And it says, the great grift. It says more than 200 billion in COVID-19 aid may have been stolen, federal watchdogs say, okay? So over $200 billion, and we're talking about the PPP loans, uh, that, that's the emergency uh, funding that, was, that the federal government was sending out. Uh, we're not talking about stimulus checks, okay? We're talking about the PPP funding because people were applying for these PPP funding and they didn't have a business and they were getting money in the tunes of over $200 billion. And so this is a tragedy because we have politicians and, and you have Speaker McCarthy, he was out there talking about all this wasteful spending, we need to make cuts, we need to look at this program, we need to look at that program. Uh, they were looking at the SNAP program, they made cuts there to a total of about, I think it was about $40 billion. But then on the other hand, you have the federal government losing over $200 billion to fraudsters. This is how sad things are. You have this, this, the whole debt ceiling debate that we were hearing about and how uh, the federal government spends too much money and this and that. And then we find out a situation like this where the federal government is not watching the money that, you know, they're not watching our tax dollars and they're letting this money just go right out the door. And it's a real, real sad situation for the average person because we pay our taxes and that's where the money, th these tax dollars that we're paying are going to these fraudsters in the amount of over $200 billion. Now the initial estimate, and this, is, this was interesting, the initial estimate was much lower than $200 billion. They had it, it was about $100 billion, which still is a lot and still is bad, but now we're looking at it and you have these watchdog groups that are looking at this and saying, you know what? I think the Small Business Administration, they're doing, you know, their inspectors, they have the numbers wrong. And so now they're revisiting it. The Small Business Administration's revisiting it and they're saying, yep, you know what? You're probably right. It is probably around $200 billion. And then the Associated Press did an investigation and they said, you know what? It could be even more than 200 billion. We could be looking at about 276 billion. And so when it comes down to it, we don't know how much it is. And we probably never will know exactly how much it is because you have a lot of these, these fraudsters that were getting all this money. And now let me preface this by saying, I'm not saying the politicians that got the PPP funding were doing it fraudulently. However, you did have politicians getting PPP loans. Everyone was getting PPP loans because anyone could apply and they weren't doing the due diligence to find out if these, if these people actually had businesses and they were just giving them money. And this mainly happened when the pandemic just started, when everybody was, there was chaos and we didn't know what we were gonna do and they start shutting down 
uh, shutting down businesses and things like that and, and closing, you know, curfews and all the stuff that was going on during that time. That's when the fraudsters were really able to take advantage because they were just the federal government was just giving out money and saying, OK, we need to keep these businesses running. We need to, to have the, the pay, the payroll protection, all that so you can pay your employees. And so the money was just flowing. And so people were getting in there and saying, you know what? Yeah, I have uh, 100 employees. And so they were giving them money in the tune of, of millions of dollars. Some people were getting millions of dollars fraudulently because the federal government wasn't checking up on this stuff. And then they were wiping out the funds. So some of these, they were loans, right? But the, a lot of these loans were getting forgiven. And so they didn't have to pay them back. And so that was another thing. That was another issue. So not only were people getting, some people were getting free money, but they were also getting loans. And then the federal government just wiped out the loans. Just like we're hearing right now when it comes to the student loans and, and how you have uh, people, some politicians that are in an uproar, uh, why are they giving them these student loans? You even have people, you know, the average person saying, yeah, I didn't take out student loans, so why should I have to, to pay them back? But you also had businesses that were taking out these PPP loans. And guess what? A lot of those businesses didn't have to pay it back. And the fraudsters that were saying they were businesses, they were also getting loans and they didn't have to pay them back. And so now we're, we're in a real bad situation because it's going to be very, very hard for the federal government to track all these people down. OK, of course, they're going to try to do their best. Uh, let's hope that they can track as many of these people down as possible. But the reality is they're not going to be able to track all these people down. And so that means that some of this money is not going to be recovered. Even if you do track them down and you make them pay restitution, so you, you charge them with something, they get a criminal record, and then they have to pay restitution, it could be years before they pay this, this restitution off, if they ever uh, pay the restitution off. And so now you have these people who've gotten away with billions of dollars, billions of taxpayer dollars, and we probably won't see much of that money come back. And then on top of that, you had some, some other watchdog groups that were looking at zip codes in the areas where the, you saw a lot of fraudulent activity when it, it came to PPP loans. And they noticed things like inflation. Inflation went up in certain areas. They noticed that the prices for houses went up in certain areas. And that's because you had this influx of money, fraudulent money that was coming in. And guess what? These scammers that were taking this money, they were spending it to buy houses, boats, cars, all this stuff. And so that inflated the prices of everything. And what I find amazing when it comes to inflation, you heard some of these lawmakers out there saying, you know what? We have inflation and they're still saying this today. We have inflation because of the stimulus checks that were going out to the American people. No, a big part of the reason why we have inflation is because you had a lot of scammers that were taking this money and going out and buying all these different items. Because usually the people that were getting stimulus checks, first off, it wasn't that much money and they were spending that money on food necessities. But when it comes to scammers getting this money, this PPP loans and all that, they were spending it on vacations. They were spending it on cars and boats and, and houses and all of that stuff. And that was inflating those prices. And so we're just gonna have to see what happens. I'm gonna follow this story really closely because it really upsets me when I see stuff like this. This is just the government not following through with what they should be doing, not doing their due diligence. But you have North Carolina, you have this gentleman who's not doing anything wrong, not trying to scam anyone, just working an honest day's work, getting his pension, and then finding out later that they were paying him too much because of their error, and then they punish him. At 80 years old, they punish him and tell him, you know what, you need to pay this money back. And then that city government in North Carolina even went a step further when he passed away. They had $10,000 in his pension, he would have $10,000 for burial. They took that money too. That's how cruel they were in this situation. But when you look at the federal government, over 200 billion, they don't even know where the money is now. They don't know who it went to. They're gonna have to try to track it down. Uh, the hope is, like I said, the hope is they can get some of this money back, but it's gonna be a long time. Most of these people are just gonna say, you know what, I don't have it anymore. Uh, file for bankruptcy or what have you. They might have to go you know, face criminal charges and things like that, but that still doesn't guarantee that the money will be replaced because they'll, they'll have to pay restitution and they can just put that off, pay the minimum, 
until they die, basically. Because some of these people were able to get, I'm, I'm sure they were able to get over a million dollars. You don't get to 200, over $200 billion just by people getting a little bit of money here and there, maybe a thousand dollars here or 10,000 here or 20,000 there. You're talking about people getting millions of dollars in PPP funding and they don't even have a business. That's what was going on. And that's how you get into the, the numbers where we're looking at over 200 billion because 200 billion is a lot of money to be going out from the federal government. And, and they had no clue. They didn't know what was going on. And now they're fi Now we're finding out three years later that there was a lot of fraudulent activity going on. So I wanna know what you guys think about this. I'm telling you, th this is one of those things that really, really irritates me because when I'm looking at people struggling and, I, and we talk about it every day on this channel, we're talking about social security reform and all this stuff, people who are retired on a fixed income and they're struggling and they're, they're, they're hoping that there could be an increase for social security and all this. But then on the other end, you're looking at these politicians allowing for stuff like this to happen. And make no mistake, these lawmakers are to blame because when they created these bills, back when the pandemic just started, they didn't have checks and balances when it came to the application process. And that's why these people were able to get the money because why? The federal government wanted to make it easy for businesses to get money. But they made it easy for businesses to get money, but not only businesses, they made it easy for scammers to get money as well. So I wanna know what you guys think about this. So let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.